So part of IAC Publishing Labs, which is the operating entity for Ask.com, sister companies include Dictionary.com, About.com, Investopedia.com. Uh, being a search engine website with also some content, we get all, all the fun of website logging traffic, as well as the fact that we have a large uh, marketing campaign where we specialize in kind of acquiring traffic through traditional search engine marketing needs. So we've got differing data sources there. We've got our web logging coming in at about 1.5 terabytes a day, something like 2 billion events a day, as well as having to merge that data with multiple API sources from uh, Microsoft, Google, uh, Yahoo, uh, coming in from APIs and combining that data into actual analytics. Previous system was a 26 node on-premises data warehouse. Uh, where we ran into issues was uh, contention. Uh, even though it was a pretty wide data warehouse, 26 nodes, uh, it, and it would perform great if say one, two, three people were querying the database, uh, if someone ran a rogue query, it could bring the entire database down. Uh, I know I am not a huge Linux person, but I definitely had to go in and learn how to run commands and basically turn it off and on again, and that was the only way to fix it. Um, we also ran into issues that meant because of that contention and it being a, a greedy resource, we had to move our ETL jobs to run at off hours. But if you're an international company with people in, all over the world, you don't really have off hours. So somebody's always getting the short end of the stick as far as querying. So Snowflake, by being able to separate out compute and storage, uh, allowed us to actually process data faster with lower latency, give users better information quicker, uh, and give them the ability to query you know, 50 people at a time, 30 people at a time, without any of those issues. On our old system, we also had a very rigid ETL uh, script that had to process it. So it meant if we wanted to conform dimensions from multiple sources, a pretty common BI problem, we couldn't do that. You really had to build it off of just one source of data, which, uh, really bothered me and I wanted to light it on fire and throw it up. Um, we're in the process of removing that because now we can do all our uh, ETL in the database thanks to uh, Snowflake's JSON processing. All our web data comes in as JSON, so having native JSON processing is huge for us. So it's just a game changer. I feel like we actually have gone to a professional enterprise system uh, as opposed to before where we theoretically had an enterprise data warehouse, but we couldn't actually do any of those things you would want to do in a respected BI shop. It's easy to use, it's fast, it, it really does what it says. The, the, the rumors are true, the hype is true. All those things it gives you are brilliant, plus things that you haven't even thought about. Uh, and it's cheap, it's affordable. It's easy to get set up. So even if you, for some reason, God forbid, if you don't like it and you want your money back, you haven't made a huge commitment, but I would be really shocked if that scenario happened. Uh, I think I was asked recently, what was the thing I hate the most about Snowflake? And I really had to sit there and go, I, I don't know. Uh, everything's just worked, which is fantastic. <laughs>